Hi there, this is Kritesh and welcome to TradeWinds YouTube channel. In this series of videos, we are going to discuss about how to read the financial statements of a company. This series consists of three videos. In the first video, we will discuss about how to read the balance sheet of a company. In the second video, we will read how to read the income statement or profit and loss statement of a company. And in the third and final video, we will discuss how to read the cash flow statement of a company. So make sure that you watch all the three videos so that you can understand how to read the financial statements of a company efficiently. But first of all, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. We publish new interesting investing and trading videos every week. Now in order to read the financial statements of a company, first you need to do is to download its annual report. Now you can download the annual report of a company by going to its website that is its official website and there you can find an investor relation or investor page and you can download it from there. Else you can go to our portal that is portal.tradewinds.in and here you can search the company. Let's say you want to download the financial statement of Maruti Suzuki. So just search Maruti and you can find the company and if you scroll down to the bottom there you can find the annual report for the last three years. So if you want to download it for 2019 just click on 2019 and here you can find the annual report of a company. So I have already downloaded the annual report of Maruti Suzuki and in this video we will discuss how to read the balance sheet. So this is the annual report of Maruti Suzuki. Now if you go to the menu page you can find that here there are two options. The first is standalone financial statements and second is consolidated financial statement. The standalone financial statements will show you the statement for just that company and the consolidated financial statement will show you the report for that company along with its holdings and subsidiaries. For example, if you see in the case of Tata Motors, they own Jaguar and Land Rover. So if you look at their consolidated financial report, it will show the result for both the main company, the Tata Motors and their subsidiary. So generally, it's always beneficial to look into the consolidated financial report. In this video, we'll take the consolidated financial report for Maruti Suzuki. So in the annual report page, you can see that it's shown in 220 page number. So we'll just scroll and go to 220 page number. And here you can find the consolidated balance sheet for Maruti Suzuki. So let's discuss how we can analyze the balance sheet of a company. So any balance sheet consists of three parts. The first is assets, the second is equity, and the third is liabilities. And the basic formula for balance sheet is that assets is always equal to the sum of the equity and liabilities. That is, if you add all the things in the assets, it will be equal to the sum of that of the things in equity and liabilities. And the second rule is that a balance sheet is always balanced. So if here you see the total assets for year 2019 is 639687 and if you add up the equity part and the total liabilities part it also turns out to be 639687 so this balance sheet is balanced and second in all the financial statement you can find the report for at least two years that is here you can see the report for 2019 compared to 2018 so the comparison is given so that you can find out how the company performed compared to the last financial year now here you can see that the last year the total assets were 602484 and all these digits are in million and this year it's 639687 so obviously the assets of the company has increased now that you have understood the basic formula of balance sheet that is assets is always equal to the sum of equity and liabilities let's move ahead and understand what exactly are assets so assets are basically the things that the company owns which has some economic value or which can add more economic value to the company in future. It can be the land, property, any intangible assets, their raw material, finished goods, etc. And all the assets are always divided into two parts. The first is non-current assets and the second is current assets. So current assets are those assets which can be converted into cash within 12 months. So these are short term assets of a company. On the other hand, non-current assets are the long term asset for a company and it takes more than 12 months for those assets to convert into cash. For example, here you can see that the current assets of a company is inventories, financial assets like trade receivables, cash and cash balance 
current tax assets and other current assets. So all these assets can be converted into cash within 12 months. For example, if you have inventories, you can convert them into product and sell them and here you can get the cash. Similarly, if you have a bank balance or if you have cash in your bank, all those are the example of current assets. And next come the non-current assets that is the long-term assets. So long-term assets are those assets which take more than 12 months to convert into cash and it generally consists of the properties that the company has, its plans, equipment, capital work in progress or intangible asset and few other non-current assets. And when you add both the current assets and non-current assets, it will give you the total asset of a company. Now in this video, we are not going to discuss all these things into detail, but we will cover more about assets in an upcoming video. So this is how you see the asset side of a company. Now let's move forward to the liability part. So similar to the asset side, liabilities are also divided into short term liabilities that is current liability and non-current liability, which is the long term liability. So short term liabilities or the current liabilities are those liabilities which the company has to pay within 12 months. This can be financial liabilities like borrowings, trade payables and other financial liabilities. And it also consists of the current tax liabilities of the company. And next is the long term liability or non-current liability. So, so if a company has taken a long term debt, it can be considered as a non-current liability or if they have a deferred tax liability, it is again a non-current liability. And if you add all these matrices, it will give you the sum of the total non-current liabilities. Finally, when you add the current liabilities and non-current liabilities, it will give you the total liability of a company. Finally comes the equity part. So basically the formula for balance sheet was assets is equal to equity plus liabilities. Now if you move the liabilities to the other side, it can also mean that equity is equal to assets minus liabilities. So basically equities tell you about the net value or net worth of the company. So if you detect the total liabilities from the total asset of a company, it will always give you the equity side of a company. We will discuss more about the equity in one of our upcoming video. But in this video, I want to keep the things simple so that you can understand the basic structure of the balance sheet. So this is how you see the basic balance sheet. It consists of three parts. The first is assets, second is equity and the third is liabilities. Now this is a very important financial statement that everyone should know how to read because by looking into the balance sheet you can get a lot of information. For example, if you want to read about how much the cash the company has, then you can look into the current assets side and here you can see the cash and cash balances. Similarly, if you want to look at how much debt the company has or how much it is borrowing, so here you can look at the short term debt and long term debts from the current liabilities and non-current liability of a company. Similarly, if you want to look at how much intangible assets the company has, how much it owns in plant, property and equipment, everything can be found on the balance sheet of a company. And that's why as an investor point of view, it is very important that you learn about what is a balance sheet. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will cover what is an income statement. Thank you for watching. And if you have any doubts, please comment below in the comment section. I'll be happy to help. This is Kritesh signing off.